To make code easier to read, computer scientists use something called functions. These are reusable blocks of code that do one task. In Scratch, you can also define your own function. For this add-on, you will create a function that moves the narrator's mouth while it says things. To create your own function block, click on More Blocks, then click Make a Block. This block will make the narrator talk, so name it something that makes sense, like talk. A large purple block with an arc at the top that says Define Talk will appear in your scripts area, and a block called Talk will appear among the blocks you can choose from now. Click on the Talk block. OK, right now it does nothing. That's because Talk hasn't been defined. The first time you see a new word, you probably look up its definition in a dictionary. The Define block works just like a dictionary. It is where the program goes to look up the meaning of Talk and find out what it should instruct the computer to do. Now place the code that makes the narrator talk underneath the Define block. Then click on the Talk block again. Now the narrator's mouth looks like it's moving while he talks, just like it did when you ran the code without the function. But wait a minute. The point of a function is that you can reuse it. Right now, this function only makes the narrator say one thing, which is, this dinosaur's name is Dino. In order to use the function you created in more than one spot in the program, you need to make it tell the narrator to say the different words and phrases that you created in part one. Luckily, functions can receive input, which is kind of like special instructions you give the function to make it do what you want. Input will allow this function to say whatever gets sent to it, rather than just repeating, this dinosaur's name is Dino. To give the function input, right-click on the block definition, then click Edit. An Edit block menu appears. Click on Options in the bottom left corner. Doing this opens a menu of possible inputs you can add to your new block. In code, words and sentences are called strings. So click Add String Input. This adds a box next to the name of the function up top. It starts off as String1, but that isn't a very descriptive name. Try naming the input something that describes how it's used, like narrator's words. Cool, then click OK. The talk block now has a space next to it, which is where you'll put the words you want the narrator to say. You can either cut and paste or retype the narrator's dialogue into the talk block. Now you're sending this dinosaur's name as Dino as input to the talk function. Next, the program needs to know how to use the input. Click on narrator's words in the definition and drag it into the first say block. Click on the talk block to see this work. The narrator still says this dinosaur's name is Dino while its mouth moves. Great, now drag out another talk block. This time, write the next line of the narrator's dialogue for your story. In this example, the next line is, he is friendly and likes to dance. Now click on the two talk blocks. The narrator says, this dinosaur's name is Dino, then he is friendly and likes to dance. Great. You can send any string input into the talk function. The narrator will say whatever you input while moving its mouth. Now finally, replace all of the save for two seconds blocks in your code with talk blocks. Now it's your turn. Create a new block by going to the More Blocks menu, clicking Make a Block, and naming it something that makes sense. Then place the block stack you made in the last screencast under the Define block. Next, edit the block to take string input. And then finally, edit the Say block to say the input and use the new block instead of the Say for Two Seconds block throughout your story.